So today I want to give you guys a look at the factory M62 and the H62 and the TVS for the LSJ engine um, and kind of show you guys some differences between the M62 and the H62 that I've noticed. Uh, I kind of looked them over for this video. Wanted to give you guys a uh, just a peek at it since they're so rare you might not even ever get to see one so let's take a look at them so this is the factory M62 off of my cobalt which is right there and this is the H62 as written on the case with the original bolt markings everything in place and there is the TVS 1320. So let's take a look. So the some of the notice things I noticed right off the bat. Um, it, this is actually a factory GM Stage 2 hub. Uh, you can see the thickness of it, uh, quarter inch plus. And I had that installed actually years ago. And the H62 also has the GM Stage 2 bolt pattern. But what I noticed is it looks like a custom hub, definitely thinner, which means it's lighter. Um, looks like maybe a different material, definitely not painted. So that was probably made specialty as they were making the blower, I'm guessing. So one of the big things, I was actually looking at them last night and going back and forth trying to figure out what is the differences between these two because originally I'm like you you wouldn't know when it's on the car you'd have to have it off the car and I actually found something new uh, that I didn't know so when you look at the blower here's the M62 um, it ends here flush and you can tell how the material is different than when you look at the side of an H. It actually follows down deeper. And then when you look on the other side, where the bracket is for the fill knot or the fill neck, pretty abrupt ends comes up. Well, on here you'll see it has that bigger and has that same swoop down and what I notice when you stick your hand in the throat of the supercharger actually goes down and exposes more of the rotor pack inside where this one stops right here so you're getting an additional half three-quarter inch I would say at least of exposed end of the rotor which when you look at a TVS, it is very deep how far it goes down and how much rotor it shows. Um, so that was a new discovery. And actually it is one way you could tell the difference between an M62 and an H62 on the car. I know some people have claimed they have one and it's most likely not the case. But the other differences are, and it's going to be hard to give you a fair comparison of the M62 because mine is ported. I'll situate these things here. Um, but actually, the opening of the H62 is much larger um, than the factory M62 and this is a Christmas tree port style proven dyno results I believe it's the only prove, dyno proven port job uh, for the outlet so be careful about who or how you port your um, supercharger I suggest seeing Josh Billheimer at category 5 port works to get that style and also get a ported uh, inlet so that is 
two of the major differences and then the last one it's going to be really hard to tell probably on video but the helix the twist of the rotor is more aggressive than on the m62 uh, from what i understand there is a 60 degree twist versus a uh, 120 degree twist and then you have the TVS 1320 which I have been told has a 160 degree twist but as you can see a much larger supercharger this is freshly rebuilt by Josh and my M62 also got freshened up, new grease, new oil. Um, this got new rotor bearings and coupler and oil. Um, but yeah, these are the three blowers that I've had the pleasure to have some fun with. Uh, hopefully a little more before the season is up. So one more shot for you guys it is uh, I've really enjoyed the blowers and we're gonna see what else I can do with them but that's it um, for what I got on the differences of the blowers if you guys have any questions send me messages or leave me comments and anything else you'd like to see uh, there will be more videos of the car coming I am going to get to put these to the test here soon uh, with my new modifications I uh, will be going to ZZP to get a tune by Al McClure and hopefully really test out the limitations not too far of the stock bottom end on the LSJ for the superchargers. So my record so far on each blower for myself is 349 wheel horse on the M62, 381 wheel horse on the H62, and to be determined. Uh, I am quite excited. So It'll be a 2.6, 2.6, and a 2.6 pulley. So hopefully we get nice, good comparison numbers. Stay tuned. I'm hoping to really make a good video for that one. So thank you guys.